Hey everybody, Dave Raw, D Dog for Dynamic Rainmakers. March 1st, 63 degrees. Wow. <laughs> yeah, it's evening and uh, 63 degrees in Colorado Springs area. <laughs> it's unbelievable, guys. But just out doing my night courier run, uh, starting a new month. Uh, things are going along, however, I was supposed to get an increase in my settlement amounts. Uh, it went backwards for some reason. Not good. Um, I don't get it. So there's something that's just not making sense. It should have been at least another $55 or so. A week so I don't know we'll see what happens because this is kind of disappointing um, but this happens in courier work if it keeps going down I can't keep doing this because the fuel prices are outrageous as you know um, people have been asking about trying to get other routes especially early morning they want to start at 8 or 9 I really can't answer that because <laughs> you gotta talk to the courier companies. I don't set the, the hours. Um, most places are open 24 seven. They may have you start something at four in the morning. I don't know, four to noon, maybe. <laughs> Who knows what their schedules are like. It varies per company and what they move. Uh, don't forget that you can do what's called on call and that's uh, where you just uh, you have things to do throughout the day it's pretty it's pretty uh, consistent but it's not a route so you don't know where you're gonna be going that's where I got my start I was doing basically on call throughout the entire state of Colorado that was at first moving the COVID samples and vaccine and then I started doing uh, more light, what I call light freight, things like uh, machine parts and industrial uh, paint containers, like five gallon paint containers for one of the uh, commercial groups that we all know. <laughs> um, and just moving stuff around. You know, I have various contracts. Um, some are app based and you can get into those. Um, it just depends on what you want to do. There's a lot of there's a lot of opportunities out there. You got to take the initiative to check into these different apps that are out there. You can even put in courier apps when you're doing searches for apps. You know, it's not that hard to find things. It's just a it's just a matter of being uh, committed to doing it, being a good driver showing up when you're supposed to, picking up what you're supposed to, maintaining good communication and things like that. Like for example, last night I was sick. Uh, I let my uh, dispatcher know and I let my uh, manager know that I wasn't able to come in. I text them and they were able to get a replacement for me to do last night's route. Same as this route. <laughs> but um, you just got to keep these things in mind when you're doing this stuff. But, uh, you know, it, it's not really too hard to get into. There's been some other uh, courier channels on here that have been helping with uh, trying to help people where to look. I mean, it's, you don't really need to look anywhere other than just going to Google. Put in courier companies near me. So you got to do do the same thing on Facebook jobs if you're looking for something put in something like independent couriers or couriers medical couriers light freight couriers uh, independent contractor driving anything like that uh, my my uh, ultimate goal from this is to get a van I don't know what size yet. I might just get a cargo van, and um, so I can expand what I'm doing. I want to do more than just this. 
Uh, I do have a nine to five job right now and I can only do this stuff in the evening, so it works for me to do these, these routes. Uh, but you can always expand. You know, when I was unemployed, or basically unemployed, uh, starting back in March of last year, that's when I got into this stuff. I needed to have an income. And that's what got me into it. So, you got, most of these places will ask you to have some type of a business structure of some kind. They want you to have an EIN number, which is like a social security number for your business. Once you get stuff like that, you can get a business account. I'm using Novo. Uh, it's online and that works really good. They just put my settlements in there. Uh, so these things are they're easy, you know. And, it, and as far as insurance goes, you just have to have regular insurance for your vehicle. 100,000, 300,000, I think those are the numbers, or the other way around. Because you're driving a, just a regular vehicle, there's nothing special about this. Uh, when I get the cargo van, I'm going to be getting uh, commercial insurance, which I know is really expensive. But, uh, you know, there's things like that. Uh, in my notes, probably down in my uh, description, I'm going to be posting stuff down there describing ways of saving money. Especially on fuel, I'm using GetUpside. That really works good. I've, I've already gotten some uh, money's built up on that. Not much, but it helps. It gives you cash back. Uh, you can get a cash back uh, credit card if you want to. That can help you. But have all these things funnel back to your business account, not to your personal account. So you help with your business. Because every penny counts. You know, and uh, fortunately, since I have a regular 9 to 5, I'm using that as my primary income and then using this as a supplemental income when I need to. But this has been kind of a long video, um, almost uh, 8 minutes here. So uh, eventually I'll be getting a, a much longer one going into more detail on stuff. And uh, I'll be stationary, <laughs> I won't be driving. So I hope you all... Uh, like, share, subscribe, make sure you share this out to other people. Uh, I'm above 100 people now. I'm like at 103 uh, subscribers, so keep it going. I'll talk to you all later. Good night.